Hello everyone, this is The Cool Geek and this is the second video, video of the amazing series we started for Excel VBA part 1. Uh, now, uh, the the last video we discussed is what is programming language and the way I see it is there are four major steps involved in it. Input, storage, manipulation and output. Now these are the features that we are going to use to build our application, whatever we, we call it let's look at what is Excel VBA and where it belongs and what is an application to understand how we are going to use this programming language and also just keep in mind the ATM example that we are going to use that we have already discussed right so what is Excel VBA it is nothing but an uh, it is nothing but visual basic for applications and it is nothing but this is nothing but a form of rapid application development um, for professionals it's a more uh, good thing because there are a lot of features that we need 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 not do as a programming language to get and build an application and uh, obviously it is a graphical user interface so it is much easier for us to understand how to write the programming language many of the things are already done for us by Excel VBA itself or Excel application itself now what is Excel VBA uh, what does it use it uses OOP that is object oriented programming similar to C++ or Java now obviously when we say object oriented pro programming it involves objects and how we use these objects to build our application now what is an application an application is nothing but as simple as a calculator or a game in on your mobile or any small computer software that enables to perform a particular task going back to a very very simple example nothing but an instruction to add numbers I select I enter two numbers here and my application will add the numbers for me and give me the output here so what is an application nothing but a computer software that enables to do us to perform a particular task now looking at the more complex application our ATM machine again obviously four steps involved in it input storage manipulation output now because this is a computer software that is working behind that is an application that enables us to use the ATM machine so we are not going to bring bring obviously write this complex code for our programming we're going to write what is more relevant to us and more that will make us uh, make our work easier and perform make us perform better so wait for the next video where I, I will explain the object oriented programming in a much simpler language and the way how I understand it. Thank you for watching.